Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I help you organize your home, preps, and travel so that you can make life simple and special. Today I am in my kitchen. I'm going to show you how I've organized my baking cart and I'm doing a series on my updated and organized kitchen. This is the baking cart that we are using. It's from the container store and uh, it took me a while to finally decide to get this. Now it is not uh, necessarily cheap. It does cost a little bit of money, so check out the website. I'll put a link below. And I used to have a different cart that I got from Amazon, which was like 35 bucks or something like that. And I'll link that also. And um, But it was just too small for what we needed. So I would have stuff in the cart and then some stuff uh, in my walk-in pantry on the shelves. Uh, so I decided to try to fit everything on one cart. And this is the size that fits for what we need. Now the baker in my family is my daughter and uh, right now she's in college so we just keep this and this has been perfect for her. I organize this for her because she's the baker. So when you're organizing your baking supplies, think about who is the baker in your family? What do they need? How do they need to access it? If you're not the baker, then you're really not organizing for yourself. You're organizing for that person. But if it is yourself, then you can ask, answer or ask and answer the questions for, for you. But if it's for someone, like example, my daughter, we used to have the baking supplies here and I would ask her, you know, how does that work? And then, you know, I worked for a while for probably a couple years and we tried in the pantry, again, that worked for a couple years. And then when we finally decided to do a baking cart, she was like, this is the perfect uh, or, uh, system for her. And so sometimes when you're organizing things in your home, it may take a few, um, you know, systems that you try and they don't work out, but then you can finally get the right one. And you know it's the right one because every time you go to do something with whatever supplies are there, you know where they are, you can put it back easily, it's easy to maintain and you get the job done, which is for here, baking. So check out the description below for this particular cart. It's not, uh, I wouldn't say it's cheap. It does uh, cost a little bit of money, so figure that out for yourself. Or if you get a smaller cart, let's say on Amazon, then you can get two carts as long as you have the space to put it away. Now, you could see this area here in my kitchen. If I really, if I was like a super baker and I just want to keep it out, I could do that. But I like to tuck it away in my walk-in pantry. All right, so I'm in the middle of cleaning, decluttering this and cleaning it. And what I have here are mason jars, which I've swapped out the metal, um, lids to these white plastic ones that you could get on Amazon and Walmart. And this um, Lazy Susan is actually really good. It's from the Home Edit brand at the container store. And it's a really, the large size, I'll link that below. And what I have here in the middle is uh, are the syrups that we use for when we make pancakes and waffles on the weekends. And um, maybe some Caro here or Caro. And then for the mason jars, these are more like uh, sugars and nuts and different types of chocolate chips. The thing I like about this, Lazy Susan, when you're thinking about getting the tools that you need, um, I, I like this because they have dividers that come out. And so you can kind of configure it a little bit. So you can see the only divider I have is here. There are four in total, but I had to take the other ones out in order for the mason jars to fit. Uh, because uh, like you can see here, one fits there, but it's not going to um, be able to be there because these mason jars need to be together. And it works out that the size of the Lazy Susan fits the top of this cart. All right, so I try to clean this cart every quarter about, you know, it comes to about that much. It doesn't really get dirty, it's just more dusty. And so I just pull it out of the pantry, bring it here to this space, which is kind of in between my kitchen and my family room here. And then I pull everything out because I'm going, I clean the um, organizers inside. Then I just wipe it with a clean uh, soapy uh, rag and I wipe this part here, that part, and then even on the sides, you see the railings here because that's where dust can go. And even on the back, not just the bottom there, but also the wheels, and then the backs of 
over here, there is a mosquito. And this particular system, the Alpha system, it comes with these um, labels, but you can get any of them. And I just took my label maker and put broad categories for what are the main things in each drawer. And they also sell this hook um, rack, which is usually, actually uh, you can do it, use it for um, neckties too or belts, but you can uh, put it here. You can see there's a hole over here. Can you see that hole? Where it could go onto the wall but you can also put it in the alpha system, especially this cart. And what I have hanging here are utensils that I don't use a lot. So these are the baking utensils that my daughter uses. And these are actually serving utensils, uh, small tongs that I use when I have a, a little dinner party or a party at my house. And I don't worry too much about these getting dusty. So before we use them, we just wash it then. And of course, after you use it, you wash it, you hang it here. I don't wash these on, um, you know, the regular basis when I, when I clean the cart. I only wash them when we go to use them. Let me just point out to you that this cart, it has this uh, stopper here to stop the drawer co from coming all the way out. And they do come in different colors. I'm not sponsored by the container store or this product. I'm just letting you know how this tool is working for me because Part of organizing is definitely number one, you have to declutter. And I'll show you um, how I've decluttered this uh, part. And then you have to clean and then you organize. And part of organizing is definitely creating the system that works for you to sim simplify it as much as you can. But it's also about getting the right tools. And sometimes that's trial and error. I know for me, a lot of times it's been trial and error. Um, not too much error, you know, not expensive errors, but, um, it's a matter of putting the system in and, you know, um, trying it out for a month, two months and, or more and seeing what's working and what's not working. Okay, you can see here the categories are utensils, measuring cups, sprinkles, cookie cutters, candles, cupcakes, and bakeware machines. So I take everything out of there and I just lay them on. Here are the utensils, here are more uh, mason jars with stuff inside and uh, my sprinkles here and then some more little tools So I went through the utensils here. Let's do the decluttering part and I Decluttered several I used to have like six because sometimes I do potlucks for um, my church and I end up with um, um, cutters like this because people don't claim it and then I've given them away because it's too many so I have these are the main ones that I use and then I go to this uh, wonderful Asian bakery that uh, the cake is so good I mean it's so good there seriously but and they give these and I think they're amazing look it's a little cutter and then there's um, uh, matchsticks inside with a little flint and then they give these um, uh, candles so they come free so I bought a couple for uh, a couple of cakes for sis, uh, my daughter's graduation and then uh, I think another birthday thing I had for someone and so they're kind of a little bit piling up and so I had to make a little space for that and you'll see how I've organized it later and but I'm looking at these utensils so basically those I'm keeping all of these but this is the thing I'm watching out for. If it gets too many, I'll have to give them away because I just, I don't want a, a drawer full of things like that because I do have a cake cutter. These are more, I've kept them because if I go to someone's house and I bring like a cheesecake or a coffee cake or something, I might bring this or I go to a little birthday party, I might bring this and I have extra candles, you know, and so that would be very convenient. All right, let's just go over these mason jars because now what I'm doing is I'm looking and I'm seeing, is there anything that's old, that's uh, broken, that I don't use anymore that I can declutter? So look at this food coloring. It looks really messy, but it's still working. So most likely, um, I'll just keep this and just clean the outside. These are sticks for when we make um, cake pops and cupcake liners and these are just some more um you know decorations for cakes and then these are plastic bags for cake pops sometimes uh, we make them and give them away and here are some more candles so the, unfortunately 
these candles don't fit in the mason jar. So ideally they would go in here so that all my candles are in one place, but it is what it is. Okay, and then here are some more like little icing, um, some sticks for when I do some appetizers or I do like little fruit kebabs or, you know, like little um, uh, charcuterie kebabs. I think that's what you call them. And here's some sugar and some more stuff like baking soda, baking powder, cornstarch, powdered sugar. And what I do is I, oh, sorry, this is cornmeal. I take my label maker and I put the label there at the bottom. You could also put the expiration date if you want. Okay, that's confectioner's sugar. All right, let's move on to this. This is my um, little juicer there for when you need some uh, lemon for your baking recipes, some sprinkles. And these are great containers. So I didn't have to decant these into a different type of container. They're perfect. These I got at Walmart, but I see that, I think they're on Amazon now too. And I got these a, a while back. And we just have different sprinkles in here. You can see that, you know, kind of Christmas, Halloween. Okay, some Red Hots there, some gummy bears. I think, yeah, are those, yeah. And um, some more here, sour drops, things like that. Okay, so for me, this is the harder part to declutter. So the, these, uh, again, I'm, the, I'm not the baker. So it's not necessarily up to me to let go of these. And so every, every so often, uh, I shouldn't say so often, probably once or twice a year, we go through these and I ask my daughter, are there any that you don't want anymore? And so we basically whittled this down. Uh, I'll ask her next time she comes, if there's any here that she needs to let go of. Okay, so these are for when we um, make polvoron, which is a Filipino kind of like a, how should I say that? Kind of like a shortbread cookie. And then these are for empanadas when we make that. So we know we're keeping that for sure. Uh, and then these I got from Target. I got a few of them. And by the way, this is a great gift. This is like a side note. If you have, if you're throwing a little Christmas cookie exchange, which I've done, a few times um, I like to give favors and these are a great favor for your guests they're really inexpensive they're probably like a dollar maybe a little bit more than a dollar depending where you get them but I got these at Target and you put a little note thank you you know on a little like gift tag a Christmas gift tag and they just it's just it's wonderful you know it's different from uh, just giving the um, the jar of uh, hot chocolate mix okay and then these, she likes these, she likes to keep those. This was actually from her birthday long, long time ago where it was like a, we did a tie and bow uh, mustache, mustache and necktie party for her. And this is a dachshund. Um, and here's some stars. And she likes these actually for pancakes, so she might not let that go. Um, I personally, if it were me, I think I would let this go. But anyway, it's up to her. And these are different, uh, again, cookie cutters, the smooth ones, and then these have ridges. And this is from Pampered Chef. Hold on, let me open it. Okay, so they're like basic shapes or seasons, and they're really mini ones, which is really cute. And then what I noticed here was that I have two of these snowmen, and I think my intention was to give one away. So this is the one thing that I will declutter from all this stuff. Now it doesn't look like a lot, but it's everything that I need and it all fits in here without overflowing. Okay, I'm here now by my dishwasher and what I've done is I, these are the drawer organizers that go on the top shelf and I've already washed it and let it dry. And so usually if I just do it this way, it doesn't get spotty, but if you're concerned about that, then definitely wipe it down. And then I have this one, this comes or this is sold separately with that um, alpha system. And you see this gets spotted, so I'll wipe that a little bit. But that's what I do is I just take all the organizers and the mason jars and I wash them and I let them dry on the, in, uh, inside the dishwasher. Okay, so that's the decluttering part and, now, and the cleaning part. And again, remember that I've taken a rag and wiped this all down okay and then this like i said is made specifically for this drawer i actually have a drawer system that's taller than this for my husband's clothes up in our closet and i use this actually for his ties uh, versus hanging them up because uh, he prefers to see 
his ties going this way. And that's one thing also with systems. Sometimes you want something vertical, like here. You want something that turns like this. And you want, uh, you may want something contained behind drawers, but you could see it or baskets or clear containers and sometimes you want things in drawers so that when you pull it out you can see it from above all right so i've wiped the organizers and i have four of this size okay two of these one of this square and then two of these smaller ones and one of these. So these are the same organizers I use for my kitchen drawers. So I knew that, that they were gonna work in here. And I wanted to show you this. One thing with organizers, you'll see that some will, um, this is uh, similar to the space that it's taking up, but this one, because it has these things here, is gonna take up some space. So that's one thing when you're uh, looking for organizers. Do you want them clear? Do you want them opaque? Uh, do you want them stackable? These are actually stackable, as you saw. And then, um, or you want ones where you can configure them yourselves. Oh, I had one here already. Okay, and then another square one would fit in there. So you could see that it, I have, uh, you know, two containers there left over. So this, the, the one piece, takes up more space. So that's my whole point in showing you this. Um, it's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, Tetris. I always call it Tetris in uh, making your containers work for what you are keeping and then also work for the system that you're using it for. Now it's time to put the drawer organizers in. And that's one thing I love about these particular organizers is that you can definitely configure it to the tool that's inside the drawer. Um, you can configure it to the size of your drawer and it's also stackable. Okay. So this drawer is not that deep, but probably for something like this, I could stack it. Example, I have these also for my, um, my desk in my office. So you see how that stacks? You could put something under here and still grab it and then uh, slide it over like that to have more access. So this is how I've configured it. You can see that. Then we're gonna start putting the stuff away. Okay, so the little, um, what's that, the little measuring cup, the candles there. Okay, my little bamboo um, tongs that I use sometimes for our own dinners or for dinner parties. All the kind of spatula things there. The cake cutters, my two main cake cutters. This one, because I just love the handle. And then these are actually magnetic um, measuring spoons, so they stay together, which I love. Okay, same thing with these measuring cups, they're magnetic. So they stay together and they fit perfectly in this square. So you can see what that looks like now. It's, um, there's space, you know, but if actually you need more stuff, like you just have more baking stuff, or whatever you're using it for, like you can see, you can fit more into the container if you need more space. But these are just the things that I need. And it works out that way. Okay, and it closes pretty smoothly. Uh, let's put these things back here. Right, the nice thing about this card is you see that I've moved it from there to here. And so if you're using this for baking, you could pull it to wherever your, um, hand, mix, uh, your um, hand mixer is or your KitchenAid. Okay. Let's just put, okay, so the spice, I mean the sprinkles, these little mason jar sprinkles go here. Okay. And I try to order them also, let's say, by um, the little um, candies to the balls and the sprinkles. Okay, so I got a couple sprinkles here, I think. Yeah, that's how I put it. And then my little Halloween sprinkles. Okay, and then the other sprinkles 
go over here. Okay, so we kind of keep the pancake things, stars there. Okay, and then those go there. Ouch. And then these empanada ones over here and it helps keep this container standing up so we can have that space okay you gotta be careful with these they have a uh, shark so those are for our pulveron if you've ever had pulveron let me know in the comments okay so our little they can stack up like that or not stuff back here, Christmas uh, cookie cutters, so obviously these are seasonal, and I don't need them that many times, so they're just kind of back there, yeah, and then these go here, right, that's what it looks like, all right, I've already put in the mason jars for these, so you look how nice it looks from on top. I have vanilla here, flower sifter, some icing, happy birthday sign. This for icing. And for these mason jars, just kind of stuff for uh, the food coloring and the icing. I did wash the food coloring inside and put them in Ziploc bags, two of them. Then you have here like the cornmeal, the baking soda, confectioner's sugar. And these are more of the stuff for like little party supplies, right? The Or our baking supplies like the lollipop sticks and the bags and candles and cupcake liners. Okay, close this up. It is heavy, but it holds very well. Okay, down here are the bakeware and machines. So these are all the little um, baking small appliances that we have for cake pops and bunt cakes. And I think this is for a waffle maker. So I just keep them in the box because it's easier to uh, put them away. And then this is for pancake mix. This is for taiyaki, a scale. This is my um, mandolin. Okay. And then here are the different um, pans couple stuff here for pancakes and you just see like a couple square pans, round pans, mini loaf pans. Show this one. Like that cupcake pans, mini cupcake pans and then this one baking mat. And then for things like this, I could have rolled it, but it was easier um, to fit it flat like this and then I had it upside down earlier, but I put it this way so I know that that's the cookie sheet or the baking mat. And then it looks like this from above. So you can see when you're looking down into the drawer, uh, you want to organize it where uh, either it's like all facing the same way. So like you can read it from here and you could see the part of the box that shows the label. All right, let's close this up. Here is the area in my walk-in pantry where I put the baking cart and I've already vacuumed. Then I just push it into the space. I hope you enjoyed this video of my updated organized baking cart. Let me know in the comments below where you put your baking cart or where do you have your baking supplies and what's that one key thing that you put in your system that makes it function well for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification and join me on this journey on helping you organize your home, preps and travel, and making life simple and special. Bye.